Also Fan TV, I'm here with Elliot from the Bear Pit TV, which is Stokes fan channel. Now, what I wanted to ask you, Elliot, yeah? This game is not Arsenal versus Tottenham. It's not Arsenal versus Chelsea. It's Arsenal versus Stoke. But for some reason, your fans, I mean, I've been up there in particular when we go up to Stoke. You guys are pumped for this game. I mean, this is like your local derby when you play Arsenal. Now, what, why is that? I mean, you're, you're, you're hundreds of miles away from us. You know, what, what is the reason for the, the real big rivalry between the two clubs? Well, for some fans, it stems back to the 1970s when you knocked us out of the FA Cup in two semi-finals in a row. I mean, I can't remember that, so it doesn't, mm. that doesn't apply to me. But for some fans, it goes as far as back as that. For me, it goes back to when we first came into the Premier League. We played a certain way. You played it the exact opposite way. Um, and for me, I'm, I'm one of those, I'm a purist. I, like, I watch Barcelona every weekend. You're the guys who try and play that way in the Premier League. But when it comes to that fixture, I'm like, <laughs> let's switch it up. Because don't, you don't like that. You don't like mm. us playing like that. And the rivalries just come from the Shawcross incident, the comments Wenger, that Wenger makes about uh, rugby. And it's just all gone from there. And you get fans turning up at our ground with uh, Wenger masks and dancing behind him. And then they do all this uh, behind Wenger doing the, what, what do you lot call it? The yeah, just doing all that <laughs> behind him. It's, I don't know where it's come from. It's just taken on a whole new other level. And the thing is, we always seem to get a result at the Britannia as well. Mm. So every time we do, it just pumps us up for the next time we play. And I like, mean, you, I mean, listen, I was up there last year and it, it was horrible that day. Horrible, I tell you. <laughs> it was right? great for us. It was great for you. It was horrible all around our fans. We had a, we had a nightmare. You, you slaughtered us in the first half. But what amazed me, even before the game started, as I said, your fans, they're pumped. They're like, they, this is like, you know, a life and death game for them. It is. I mean, we don't really have a local derby. We've got West Brom, who are close, but they're not. It's not a derby. Port Vale. Port Vale. But <laughs> don't need to speak about them. They've, they've got a few leagues to get up to to get near us. But um, yeah, it's it's just just taken on a whole new level. It's just this game, and then there's the things that all football fans don't like about Arsenal, whether it's the selfies or the... What selfies? Uh, the Come selfies. on. We're not the only club that does selfies, you know. I know, but there's some some, <laughs> some more than others. And uh, the polls on Twitter and stuff like that. Well, because I, we win all the polls on Twitter. I saw yesterday that um, the television awards are going to be done by Twitter hashtags and polls. I'm fully expecting the Arsenal squad to go up and collect best. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm fully expecting that to happen. Listen, listen, uh, what... Now, I'm starting to grab it now. It's a lot of hate. <laughs> so it's a lot of stoke hate on Arsenal, right? Listen, um, it, uh, the, the whole Shawcross thing, that's you lot caused that. And I mean, I remember when you used to have uh, like Rory Delap yeah. and those long throws and that. But you, you, you guys have changed your style up a bit now. We have. We've completely changed. Um, Mark Hughes has come in. We've got Bojan, Arnautovic, Shakiri. So, so is, is is that now the, is that now out of the window then? The clash of stars, or you know, you know, it might change up. I don't know. We've still got players there who can do that sort of thing, like Charlie Adam, Glenn Whelan, <laughs> Phil Bardsley. We've still got all those players who could do that. I'm, I suppose it completely depend on Mark Hughes mm. and what he wants to do. Listen, I mean, it's, for me, it's great as a football fan. I mean, I don't know if you know, but um, the name for Stoke fans by Arsenal fan are the Orcs. They go, the Orcs are coming, <laughs> right? I've seen the pictures. <laughs> You've seen the pictures. And it is, listen, I love football rivalry. I just love it. As long as it don't go over the edge, yeah. I, I, which it hasn't, to be fair, I've never seen, I've never been up to Stoke and seen fights and no. trouble. I think that's probably because we're, after the game, we're always walking away like this anyway. So, um, but I've never, I've never seen no trouble. It is all like proper football banter. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's always taken in good spirit at the end of the day. I mean, people, some people may go over the top, but you don't, see, you don't ever see it. I've never seen any trouble between the two mm. fans. It is a rivalry. It does get heated, but at the end of the day, it's football. And then, mm. and that's all it matters. All right, well, we're going into a game this weekend. Uh, no, I'm not going to say may the best team win because I said that to them West Ham guys. And, uh, <laughs> right? But it should be a great game. Um, and listen, for me, as a football fan, long may the rivalry continue. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the game, you know, especially after the international break, you know, just want to get back stuck back into it. And we need a winner. We, we you know, we need a win here. Um, we haven't won here yet this season. Drew against Liverpool, lost on the first game of the season against West Ham. Um, our waveform has been very good. We've won both on the, on, on the road, but here we haven't won yet. So it's a massive, massive game for Arsenal.